Hey guys, in this video we're going to be working on the S15. Got a fair few boxes to open, so let's get into it. So, some of these are for future projects, which are these. And you'll be seeing that on the video relatively soon. So, what we've got here first is as it says in the box, this is a lifeline fire suppression system. It's a fairly comprehensive kit. There's absolutely loads of pipe work, clamps. I'll just show you now. There's a fair, fair bit to go through. So, in a sec, I'll get all that out. And um, the whole aim of this video is to work out where I'm going to be mounting things in my S15 <clears throat> so I'm thinking with a fire suppression you're good if it fits you that'll be great it's out the way behind the passenger seat and also um, we've got other things to run in as well because the, the aim of it is drill any holes in this prior for it going to paint because obviously you don't want to drill in the fresh paint so at this stage I'm at is mock-up so, we'll have a look at some of the other, there's an assortment of goodies in here. If it stays open, we've got rivnuts. We've got bulkhead AN fittings, and they are for fuel line. It's got, I believe it's dash 6, dash 8. We've also got other ones for my oil cooler. That's stainless bolts to go with a rib nut. We have got a sample, uh, I think it's a metre long, I ordered. Goodrich hose, so this will be for me to mock up uh, the roots for my hydro. Um, so I can clip P-clip that to the, the side brackets for an oil cooler. We've also got some cool stuff of Chase Bays, which is in the rest of here. So we'll get into that in a minute. We've also got a Set Grab Proline oil cooler. So this I believe is an 18 row oil cooler. I'll open it up out of this after, but just to show you. And then the last box, straight from Japan, is a Blitz intercooler for obviously an S15. So I'm gonna start off, I think, with the intercooler put that on and then we'll go from there. Okay, first thing you want to do is mount the brackets. So, a little uh, core support here, I believe it's called. I'm going to put them in too far because it's literally just for uh, mock-up purposes. Blitz core. As you can see, is Blitz stamp in the top. Nice little kit and some really nice welds on it. Way better than I can weld. No surprise. Right. Ooh, don't want to drop this. this now. Okay. 
Okay. exactly where it's going to be. It hasn't really got much much where else to move. So that's pretty much exactly as, as he's going to be. Perfect. Right, we'll get the, the rubbers now and the pipes that come with it and see how we're looking. of rubber and just bits and pieces. See what size ones. There's a couple the same and there's one reducer one but I'm pretty sure that one goes on the inside for that uh, pipe that passes over. Bends. Now look. I'm pretty sure that goes like that. It reduces in, and then that goes on there. Come on. Okay. Just get you off here and try and show you. It looks awesome. Really nice bit of kit. But you might see a little issue here. If you look at it from the from side on. That's how it's supposed to be. And we are deep in the wheel well. So the time I've got some not stock S14 wheels on it, there's a high chance so that's gonna interfere there. And obviously because of my tubs are so big, these are gonna have to be custom. Because we need that going up in there. So Obviously the pipe come through here and then branch over to that side. And we have same issue this side. That's gonna have to be custom pipes cut through here and then brought up to the intake. And I'll be having uh, custom pipes made. Might try and make them myself if I buy uh, a TIG welder or depending on how things are going, I might just have uh, someone do them. But in regard, that doesn't matter because I need to work out what size hole to drill there. And I can drill that with a bit of clearance so it doesn't, the intercooler piping doesn't rub up against it and basically wear the pipe through and create a boost leak. So I can drill them so that won't hamper me uh, in regards to having this painted. So, on to the next parts. Right, so we got the Chase Bay's power steering uh, relocation kit basically and it's opted to go with the, the set drab power steering oil cooler as well. So, just 
just going to pop these Allen key bolts out. I believe it goes this way. Right, take it over to the car and we'll uh, we'll mount it. Small little bolt. Here. I believe whether I've got the bracket the right way around, I think I have. I'm pretty sure it goes here. it up and it'll pull a bit straighter and then there should be just about ample room to get on to the AN lines. Perfect. In here we have the set drab pro line oil cooler. So for this I've just bought the core because um, I'm going to be making my own lines and doing a remote filter kit. So, also got these brackets for it. Okay, that's it with its mounting brackets all on. So these are the SUSE brackets. Let's try and find a place to mount this. So, a little jump ahead now. We got my front bumper on and the lights in. So we put the intercooler pipes back in just as a rough to give me a rough idea of where I can actually mount my oil cooler and as I mentioned earlier I've also got uh, another set drum one and that's for my power steering. Without actually opening up the lines and connecting them to the rack and then routing them. I'm not 100% sure how much reach I've got with the chase base kit. So that would govern really on, you know, where I can mount the cooler. So I know the rad goes on the back side of this. It doesn't sit under there. So technically I could put one in there, if not both of them. So they'd be in between the intercooler and the rad. Potential idea as opposed to having them down here, which is going to be, I suppose you could mount it off, off this because that is coming through before that. But then you've got your wheel sending a load of rubbish into that. So I'm going to have to have a little think in regards to the positioning of these coolers so i think i'm going to do a little bit more research on that so let's get the fire extinguisher kit out and then see if we can find uh, a suitable place to mount that in the car okay so here we've got various i'm assuming that's the pipe to root it stickers and that and the instructions there to be some type of fireproof sleeve in so there's our brackets maybe not your what they're some fittings I assume some of these are Push fit connectors and these uh, anodized ones look to be the spray nozzles. We have got the, the main clamp for the actual extinguisher. Two ball cords. Extinguisher. Let's open it up and have a look. Alright. 
Yes, here she is. Tiny Lifeline Zero 360. Convenient. Convenient name on this. And it's a 2.25 kilogram extinguisher. Okay, that's clamped on enough that I can riddle it around it a touch. So, let's try and find a, a good location for this in the car. Okay, that seems to be the best place to put it. Uh, I've read the instructions and apparently you need like rubber mounts. My plan was just to mark the four holes, drill them, rivnut them, and then just screw it in. But it seems uh, I'll have to check up on it because I've never fitted one of these before. But apparently, you need like thread, like a rubber bush, and then thread again. So I'm going to check up on that. And if I need them, I'm going to have to water them. <clears throat> but in regards to that, then the root in, as you can see, there's a T piece coming out. So one part of the line will come out up there through my firewall and then that will spray the fuel cell um, and the other ones then I believe I'll have to check check the rules but you need one in the driving compartment so I think that can be under the dash spraying down um, and then you can I think it'll be two whether I use some unused holes here or drill two new ones and then you have two I believe point in at the engine. So. Right, I've dug out the, the S15 handbrake so you've got this tube welded in to a plate which covers that hole perfectly so it looks looks like this has been crimped on the end so I could either run a grinder across there or I'm going to try and put that in the vise, see if I can open it and then if we can pull that out then I think we can reuse this for our new handbrake routing. So, look at this. What I done, that, that's the, the inside, the bit you see inside the car under the centre console and this back end was uh, like crimped and that held um, basically the handbrake cable so take some of these burrs off the inside and then we can have a little try of this I mean, well, perfect so what I can do there if you, I'll try and get the shots you can see we have got touch of play, but you, I could just fill that with silicon or, or anything really. Uh, and then we've got a nice clean uh, root now, uh, and we haven't got to drill anything unnecessary. So let's have a look. So we chuck our cable in. Holes on. Just it through. Try and hook this here so just for representation. Oh, it's not staying up. clips there. That is considerably neater option for running that. So I'm happy with that. Okay. You got that little tiny little blue nozzle there. So I need a 13 mil drill bit which I didn't know until today so I gotta pick one up. But it'll be pretty much drilled straight through 
uh, as that V comes down in the centre there, punch through. And then when my cell, which obviously sits bang in the centre, see if you can see. Oh yeah, it's, the light's pretty good. It'll be there and it'll spray perfectly on the fuel cell. So when I get a 13mm bit, I'll pop that through next time. And then the routing of the uh, the actual pipe for it, you just run straight, straight down and into there. So <clears throat> I've got a few bits I need to collect or look into the rubbers for that drill bits. Uh, I'm going to wait to do, I'll just, I'll drill them and I'm back up you next. And what I've also found, I don't know if any, any of you guys have got an S15 or you know. Oh, I can't see. Up in there, there's a factory hole already in there. So, oh, and that, that blue one there, that has got to be mounted um, to spray in the driving compartment but not directly at the driver. But as for the that little nozzle, I don't believe that hole is used for anything. Right, I'm going to do a, a little cheeky view at the front of this. Absolutely love this kit. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, it's been a little bit all over the place um, but in regards to mocking up parts it's you can only really open up the boxes and see what you got to work with and go from there so not always everything pans out. Next video guys I'll be back working on well, I should be, if everything comes in time, but I should be working on the E36 Compact. And there's big changes for that coming. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one.